The Shin Bet, or Israeli security agency, arrested five Israelis who were recruited by an Iranian intelligence operative, pretending to be a Jewish man, taking photographs of Israeli sites and gathering information on his behalf. Let's take a look at the report. An investigation carried out by the Shin Bet in collaboration with the Israel police has revealed that five Israelis, four women and one man, were in contact with Ramboud Namdal, an Iranian intelligence operative who recruited Israelis to carry out missions on behalf of the Islamic Republic. The suspects, all Jewish immigrants or descendants of immigrants from Iran, whose names are currently barred from publication, were initially recruited on Facebook and then spoke to the operative who posed as an Iranian Jew over WhatsApp. Some were in contact with him for years. Their missions ranged from taking photographs of strategically important sites to forming relationships with political figures and providing contact information for senior political and military officials, all in exchange for thousands of dollars. מדינת ישראל מצויה במערכה מתמשכת מול איראן. הדברים ברורים. אנחנו מזהים מאמצים וניסיונות בלתי פוסקים של משמרות המהפכה האיראנים לגייס אזרחים ישראלים. ניסיונות אלו לא מסתכמים רק בתחום הביטחוני והמודיעיני, אלא מתרחבים גם למאמצי השפעה על אזרחי ישראל, על החברה הישראלית, לזריעת כיתוב ומחלוקת, לערעור של היציבות הפוליטית בישראל, ולפגיעה באמון הציבור בשלטון. אני קורא לאזרחי ישראל, גלו ערנות לניסיונות הללו. ייתכן שמי שעומד מאחורי המידע שאתם צורכים או משתפים ברשתות, הם האיראנים. שלא יהיה ספק, ידה ארוכה של מערכת הביטחון תגיע לכל מי שינסה לפגוע בביטחון ישראל. According to the Shin Bet, two of the suspects include a husband and wife in their 40s from Hulon. The husband was aware of his wife's connections with Namdal and even spoke to him himself. Even though he suspected he was an Iranian intelligence agent, he continued to stay in contact and help his wife carry out her missions, even driving her to the U.S. consulate in Tel Aviv to take photographs. Another suspect, a 57-year-old woman from Bet Shemesh, was in contact with Namdal for years. She tried to convince her son to join military intelligence and sent photographs of his enlistment ceremony to Namdal. Additionally, the woman took photos of her polling box in the last elections and attempted to take photos of the U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem, but was unable to do so after she was stopped by local security guards. She was also instructed to befriend a member of Knesset. All in exchange, she received $5,000 from him, a portion of which she received in Turkey from a third party when she had flown to meet with. According to the Shin Bet, she knew that he was an Iranian intelligence official but decided to continue to help him anyways. Another suspect, a 47-year-old resident of Kfal Saba, received money and jewelry from Namdal through her niece, which came to visit Israel from Iran. The final suspect, a 50-year-old woman from Jerusalem, gave Namdal information about Iranians living in Israel and other unknown pieces of information, despite her suspicions of him. In turn, she received nearly $1,000. Despite the serious breach, security officials said they do not believe any classified information was compromised that threatened national security, as the suspects did not have access to any significant information. Though, this has highlighted a serious weakness in Israel's security. ILTV Plus, your news from Israel and more 24-7. Start your free trial today. Subscribe at ILTV.TV and watch from any device.